Hi guys, welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. And today, I will be your host. My name is Karen. Okay, we are going to talk about placement of smoke detector at beam, still focusing on fire detection and alarm systems. <laughs> Okay, so before we proceed to the main topic of this video, we are going to, or I'm going to give you an overview of a smooth ceiling. So when we say smooth ceiling, so that's a ceiling um, which is flat without any stru um, structural beams or solid obstruction. And remember that the maximum distance should be 9.1 meters spacing. So now moving on to the main topic, which is ceiling with beam construction. So how does it look like? So looking at the slide, um, we have the, here the ceiling level and then you have your beam. Okay, so now um, we will be discussing what we need to know. So rules. Okay, we have here rules. Um, and number one, we are going to talk about measure beam depth. So what does it mean? We need to get the beam depth from um, the bottom of the beam up to the um, ceiling underside. So you need to get the distance of that. Number two, we need to um, measure the ceiling height. So when we say ceiling height, that is the distance between the finished floor line and the ceiling underside. So that's what we need to get. And then number three, we need to measure spacing between beams. So looking at the slide, okay, still you have your um, ceiling underside and then your beam. Okay, then we need to get the spacing if there is another beam in the area. So we need to get the spacing of that. Okay, we need to get we need to uh, get the measurement of that. Okay, so now that we know the three rules, okay, we are going to be discussing the argument. So, is beam depth less than 10% of ceiling height? Okay, so if that's the case, smoke detector shall be placed either in packet or bottom of the beam. So, look at the slide over here. So you will see here that this is our underside ceiling. And um, remember that we've um, discussed earlier that the maximum spacing is 9.1 meters. And so that one, um, the first slide that I've mentioned before, the, uh, that I've showed you before this, is um, the smoke detector is located on the ceiling underside. And then this one is located on the bottom of or under the bottom of the beam which is still following the 9.1 meter spacing okay, so going to the second argument is beam depth more than 10 percent of ceiling height is spacing between beams more than 40% of ceiling height. So if that's the case, um, smoke detector shall be placed on each packet. So let's take a look at the slide here. So you will see that the smoke detector is now placed on each packet. So going to the third argument, okay, this time um, we have is beam depth more than 10% of ceiling height 
that if that's the case um, or is spacing between beams less than 40% of ceiling height so if that's the case it doesn't necessarily um, needed for you to put a smoke detector in each packet okay you can skip one packet or two packets for as long as you are meeting at least half of the requirement which is 4.5 meters in distance or in spacing so looking at the picture here um, in our slide, so it can either be in your ceiling underside, okay, or at the bottom of your beam. Still meeting the half of the requirement, but this time it's going to be 4.5 meters. So now moving on to the fourth argument, okay, for corridors, Okay, um, 4.6 meters on width or less having beams. So looking at this picture over here, okay, so the width of the corridor should be less than or equal or less than 4.6 meters. And then there is the beam at the top. Okay, so you can put your um, smoke detector here, either... Um, on the underside of the ceiling or at the bottom of the beam okay. or you can also put it on the side wall now with our last argument okay argument number five for rooms with an area of 84 meters or less okay and there is still a beam inside um you can put the smoke detector still underside of ceiling or you can put it at the bottom of the beam all right so that's ends uh that ends our discussion okay so that pretty much um sums up our discussion about putting a smoke detector in a ceiling with beam construction so if you have any questions suggestions don't forgive this uh don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this to your workmates, workmates or friends. Okay, um, don't forget to subscribe as well so that you'll be updated for more videos about, you know, all about fire protection. Thank you.